So one of my hosting essentials for this spring is the marble cheese board. Um, I like marble better than wood. One, because marble is much easier to clean. Two, is that you can put um, and prepare your cheese tray and put the whole thing, including the marble, in the fridge. And when you take it out, the marble holds the cold. So that way your cheese doesn't start to melt and lose its shape and flavor. So it's really useful in that way. So I picked this one up from Tuesday morning. Um, these normally retail anywhere from 50 to $85. This particular one um, has a little bit of agate in the middle and it's heavy. And retail, you can see I bought it on super, super clearance but it retails at $70. They sell them normally for $34.99. And it's just a nice heavy piece of marble. So no frills. Now, um, I did get this on clearance, so it was, turned out to be like $14 a piece. I picked up a couple. But if you happen to not find them on clearance, you can DIY your own. So this is one that I made um, with just a few materials and it turned out really nice so check it out so to start I went to Home Depot and picked up one of these 12 by 12 polished marble tile it is um, polished on one end and raw on the other you want to take this and clean it off with some warm soapy water obviously the polished side is going to be the top of your cheese board this tile was $3.99 um, I got a package of bumpers um, to put on the bottom to lift it up a little bit and to protect any surfaces that you might put it on. A pack of 12 of these um, are going to be $2.98, I believe they were. So um, I'll need four for each cheese board. And to give that gold leaf look that I wanted, I went and got a, a pen, a metallic paint pen. Um, so I opted for the oil-based paint because this one they said is good for glass, wood, metal, and stone. So I thought it would give the best um, adhesion to the finished product. So this is all washed off with warm soapy water. And again, because you'll have residual dust on the back. So I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to place my bumpers on the bottom. These are self-adhesive. But it might, I'm going to see how this goes because I'm actually doing this for the first time live. And if they don't stick properly, I'm going to use um, some kind of uh, adhesive to fix it, to fix it. So you see, you just peel the paper back. And I opted for this cool, like kind of clear gemstone kind because it's not really intrusive and it should offer some protection. So I'm just going to eyeball it place it down and again it's going to be on the bottom so nobody's really going to see it and I already can tell I put that on Cricut and I'm going to use my ruler here to at least make sure it's on the same line So those are on and now we can add the gold covering. So see now it's sturdy, it's not going to scratch any tabletops. And so now we're going to add our gold coloring to the edges of them. So again I tried to, I went with the oil based one because they said it's good with stone. Um, I'm going to just do this freehand. I was going to tape off, but maybe I decided I wouldn't do that. You want to shake it. And then you push down to release the paint. And we'll 
see it start to flow here. Stand over this. Oh yeah, this is working really well. I started to use gold leaf, but I wanted to make the project as inexpensive as possible. So I looked around Michaels and this pen was $4.99, but we know that we go to Michaels and we use our 40% or 50% off coupons and it's gonna cost way less than that. So it ended up being like $2.99 at the end of the day. And one of the other things, I was gonna chip away the edges to give it that like designer look, but then I chickened out and honestly didn't feel like, I felt like doing all that. So this gave really nice gold coverage. Make sure I get those edges right there. And it's really easy to handle since it's a pen. You just make some nice short strokes. Going back to make sure you cover everything that you want to cover. And I'm gonna have to lay this flat to do the rest of it because I can't touch the other two edges. So the other thing is with the bumpers already on, it lifts it off my table. So now I don't have to, I run the less risk of getting paint on my table. And that's part of the reason why I put the bumpers on first. And I'm noticing now that my tile seems to have a slight bevel on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the gold paint on that too. But I might wait for this first layer to dry. So it's easier for me to do. I might go ahead and hit this side while it's... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on that beveled edge. And this is so easy with this pen. You have a lot more control than you will with say a paintbrush. And gold leaf, like I said, is probably four times as much. Not a huge investment, but wanted to make this an inexpensive project. So I'm gonna go in here. So right now it's looking good with one coat. But we'll see when it dries how that works. And you do need to remember to push the pen in to release more paint. And then the good thing about this is not any surface that the paint or the food and the paint will come in contact with. And the nice thing about this, if you happen to chip one of your tile, it's not a big deal. You go back in and you repaint that chip edge. There we go. Now I thought I would put some handles on it, but I'm not sure yet. I still might. Um, if I find that there is an adhesive that's strong enough, I don't know. Um, Cause I'm not prepared to drill through this. Um, I don't think I have a tip that'll work. Even though I have a drill, I don't think I have a tip that would work well on stone like that so i was thinking of using adhesive to put handles on it i don't know i think i like it like this because these are real marble tile and are very heavy 
so I wouldn't want any accidents or for it to fall. So I'm just leave that there and we're going to let that dry. So here again is the finished tray. I did end up using two coats of the gold paint. And here are my bumpers that worked out really nice. Um, the other tray that I bought at Tuesday morning doesn't have bumpers, so I think that was a cool addition. Um, I got inspiration from this from some other cheese boards I've seen in a few retail stores. I think Cynthia Raleigh does one. Um, and a few retailers, I've seen them on Wayfair with the gold edging like this. But usually they have that raw edge, but again, I didn't feel like going through all of that, but still have that finished edge look on just this plain raw tile. So. Let me know what you think. Um, you'll see this pop up in next week's video um, with some more hosting essentials. Um, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do subscribe to Simply Lavish at Home. And until next time, thanks for watching. Here's to living simply lavishly. Cheers.